In this video, we'll be solving a trig equation which contains a radical. When equations contain radicals, try isolating the radical and then raising both sides of the equation to a power that will eliminate the radical. The problem that we'll be working is to solve sine x minus the square root of 1 minus sine squared x equals 0. Our domain is restricted to the interval from 0 degrees to 360 degrees, including the 0. So if we are going to isolate the radical here, we'll have to add square root of 1 minus x squared to both sides and move this term to the right side. So that'll give us sine x equals, when it moves over, it'll be a positive square root of 1 minus sine squared x. Now to eliminate the square root, we'll need to square both sides. So on the left side, I have sine squared x. And on the right side, the squaring and the square rooting are inverse operations, so those go away. And I just have 1 minus sine squared x. So we have a sine squared on the left and a negative sine squared on the right. Let's go ahead and add sine squared x to both sides. These will cancel. And now I have 2 sine squared x on the left, and I have a 1 on the right. Now we can divide both sides by 2. These will cancel. And I have sine squared x equals 1 half. To get sine x by itself, I need to square root both sides. And remember, when you square root, you need plus minus. So now this square root and this square, those are inverse operations, so they cancel each other off. And I have just sine x on the left equals plus or minus 1 over the square root of 2. Remember that the square root of 1 is just 1. So we're looking for an angle x whose sine is either a positive or a negative 1 over root 2. And we can draw our reference triangles. Since it's either positive or negative, my triangles will be in all four quadrants. Um, let me go ahead and just draw quadrant one first. Um, whenever I have a root two, I know it's going to be a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And this is one, one, root two. So the sine of this 45 degree reference angle is one over the square root of two. So that tells me then that x is going to be 45 degrees. And then in quadrant 2, the angle to get a 45 degree reference angle is 135. I find that by taking 180 minus 45. And that's 135. And then the angle in quadrant 3, 45 degree reference angle, would be 180 plus 45, which is 225. And then the uh, reference triangle in quadrant 4 is going to be 360 minus 45, which is 315. Now, the problem with uh, this type of equation, whenever you square or raise both sides to any power, there's the possibility of generating extra solutions. So you always check. We're going to check these four angles in my equation. So I'm going to enter 
uh, sine x minus the square root of 1 minus sine x squared and then see if it's zero. Now I'm going to just press enter for right now and I'm going to store 45 degrees into my calculator in place of x. Now your calculators may not work this way so all you would do is put a 45 in here in place of x and then recalculate that expression and it looks like I have zero so 45 does work now let me check 135 that gives me zero so that one works. And then 225. Right, that is not zero, so 225 will not work, so I cannot put that in my solution set. And then finally 315. That one also is not zero, so 315 does not work. So my only solutions for this equation are 45 degrees and 135 degrees.